What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So we have a new update today and it's one that we actually needed urgently. And if you go on YouTube and check my last two videos, I have over 45,000 views in less than a day because of a serious bug that was apparently there on iOS 14.2 beta 4. So that is why we got this update so quick and for me on my iPhone 6s you can see that iOS 14.2 this is the GM version that I have here it came in at around 3.49 gig and today being a Friday this is something that's unusual of Apple it, they don't usually release updates on a Friday but it's, as you can see here my calendar says Sunday 25th and it's because I had to turn time back in order for the bug to go so we can now set everything back to auto and as you can see the bug is no longer showing even when we lock our device and unlock the bug is no longer showing so that's why we got this update if we go into the settings just to see how this you know ios 14.2 gm came for me as you saw the update size and the software version you can see that it's ios 14.2 and that's the build number it's a final build and it's one that doesn't have a letter at the end depicting that it's a gm version now let's see what's new with this update if you have airpods or airpods pro when you go to your settings and then go to your bluetooth settings when you have your airpods connected you now have optimized charging for airpods now i don't have airpods or airpods pro but if you do you can just easily click on your airpods pro and then you'll be able to set that optimized charging and that should basically help in making sure that you know your battery for your airpods pro or airpods doesn't degrade so fast and the second thing or something else that's new with this update has to do with the iphone 12 and this update add support for the iphone 12 let us live with magsafe so that's an accessory that was rumored to be coming later on in november but as you can see this could actually come sooner than expected as early as you know early november as you can see here so that is now supported also something new that came with this update if we go into settings and then go to sounds right there and then go to where it says headphone safety you can see that we have a new menu here and it's headphone safety and you have this option that you have here to be able to turn on headphone notification so this also is something new that came with this update and it will give you you know like a last six month you know your average once you turn it on so it's also something new also something that came with this update has to do with a ton of new memojis so if you go to the uh, message section there and then you go to your memoji section you will notice that you know there's over a hundred new memojis some are new faces that came with this update others are new items like food like for example this is a new emoji if you go to the food section there you will notice different things like you know bubble tea and so on even like some sort of bread that is new so that is also something new that came with this update this is this is new so yeah you feel free to check out some of the new emojis that were added with this ios 14.2 the gm version so something else that's new if we go into the settings and then go to the wallpaper section so the wallpaper section is right here and then you know click choose wallpaper if you go to the steels wallpaper you can see that we have eight new wallpapers and these are wallpapers as you can see that came both on the iphone and on the mac as you can see right there so these wallpapers are available on all platforms and you can see that they can switch between day and night and this is cool that, and it's something that came with this update also that's new also if you have the iphone 12 since it has a lidar sensor at the back it now has you know the ability to recognize people using the magnifier app so if that's something you use you would want to check that out but i don't yet have the iphone 12 for me for the purposes of this video i'm just gonna stick to the iphone 6s 
Next, if you go to your control center here, the now playing section, as you can see here, is way bigger than before. And this volume toggle is also bigger than what was there before. So this is also a change that came with this update. And if we go back, we have Shazam. So this control center option that you see here is Shazam. If you turn it on, you can see that, you know, it will be listening. And if a song is playing in the background, it will be able to tell you, you know, the name of the song and and that's how you turn it on to turn it off just tap it like that and it's off now under the home application we have a new feature also that came with this update so if you have the home pod or the home new home pod mini that was just released by apple you now have the ability to set up the intercom which is something new also that came with this update i don't have a home pod but if you do it's something that you would want to check out now with this update there's quite a number of bug fixes that came with it and the first First one has to do with search so as you can see when you go to basically this search panel here you can see that you know first of all this screen isn't disappearing like what was happening on some devices on beta 4 so that's good and the second fix has to do with the keyboard so you can see that you know the keyboard isn't disappearing and it isn't showing half or glitched up so that is a good new fix that came with this update next it has to do with the camera so you can see how fast the camera app opens for some devices before although on the second time I opened it it glitched a little bit but as you can see it's opening and it's not blacking out unlike you know what some people were reporting on the previous version of iOS 14 so it's good that this issue has now been addressed also now also something else that was fixed has to do with widget if you are using the weather widget you can see that mine is showing my current location and it's in degrees Celsius not in Fahrenheit so that has been fixed and also if you have the clock widget that is also showing the correct time and basically widgets are now working better than before now when it comes to how battery is performing for me i should say that on the previous beta that i was on which was beta 4 my battery was quite terrible i ended up you know not using this device so much so you can see my battery health there that it's on 79 percent and it actually tells me to service so perhaps that's why my battery life that i'm getting isn't so good so this is the percentage that i have after updating to 14.2 gm and before updating i had 79 and just to see you know my screen on time you can see the screen on time that i had if we see the last 10 days this is my screen on time that i had if we go to this day you can see that i had about two hours seven seven minutes and that was basically almost using 80% of charge so that is not great at all I'm hoping that with this iOS 14.2 for other iPhones like the iPhone 6s the iPhone SE first generation the iPhone 7 and also the iPhone 6s plus you know battery can improve when it comes to this iOS 14.2 if need be I'll make a follow-up video just to show you you know how battery is on this ios 14.2 next when it comes to performance i should say so far it seems seamless the bugs that were fixed with this update are making this software seem so fast you can see how fast settings open so fast and just to show you you know we can close settings look how fast that opens the camera app if we click on it you can see that it opens so fast so when it comes to performance wise i'm very happy with the performance that i'm getting right off the bat and um, I'm going to be running Geekbench scores in my follow-up video, which I'm going to do in about two to three days. So performance-wise, so far, if I had to say, I would say it's a good or a plus when it comes to performance. Now, also something worth mentioning is that today Apple launched its Apple One subscription bundle. So if you go into your settings and then go to your iCloud, when you click the way it says subscriptions. So if you click subscriptions, if you have any outstanding subscriptions, it will show you. But now you can see that you now have an option to see, you know, to get the Apple One subscription bundle. If you click on it, you can get information on what's involved in the Apple One subscription bundle. Apple Music, over 70 million. You have, you know, Apple TV, Arcade, and iCloud. And these are the prices. You can see Family goes for $20.95 and premier goes for 34 dollars so this is 
the options that I have and it's something that you know you would want to look into if you use Apple Music if you bundle up you can save money and it's quite substantial you know the savings are a lot and also as you can see here you can start a free trial just to have a test and feel of this Apple One subscription bundle so basically that's it when it comes to iOS 14.2 this is the GM version I have the developer beta installed on my device the public beta version should be coming soon but when it comes to the official release of ios 14.2 to the general public so if we open our calendar we can see that today is friday the 30th of october so this is something that was released on, on an unusual schedule and basically we know that you know the newer devices are going to come on the 6th that is the iphone 12 mini and the iphone 12 pro so perhaps something like the 10th of november which is a tuesday and something that's more realistic when it comes to apple releases so i really feel like it's going to be on the 10th of november 2020 that's when we are going to see ios 14.2 being released officially so other than that that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon Peace.